forgiving, the most merciful. So all praises to Allah, he who forgives the sin of those who seek his forgiveness and who accept the repentance of those who turn to him in repentance. So I bear witness there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah and I bear witness that our master and prophet Muhammad sallallahu is the servant and messenger of Allah. O Allah, send blessing, salutation on our master and prophet sallallahu alayhi wa his family and of all of his companions as well as those who follow them. So as to what we gonna cover today uh, is like you know asking forgiveness. So when we want forgiveness, what are the things we have to do? بَسَارِيُ إِلَى مَغْفِرَةً مِّن رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ أَرْضُهَ السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضُ أُئِدَّتْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ and hasten to forgiveness from your Lord and a garden as wide as the heaven and the earth. Prepare for those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is prepare for the people who are muttaqeen, only for the righteous people. So we want to have the taqwa of Allah. In order to have the taqwa, we should have that righteousness. Allah says, O you who seek Allah's forgiveness, Allah says to his Prophet, May Allah peace and blessing be upon O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa inform my servants that I am indeed the oft forgiving, the most merciful. Nabi ibadi anni ana ghafoor rahim So Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa always he asked forgiveness, even though Allah forgave him. But still he asked forgiveness and he was very thankful. Allah says, Ya ibadi allazina asrafu ala anfusihim la taqnatu min rahmatillah inna allaha yaghfiru zunuba jami'an inna huwal ghafuru rahim. Allah says, My servants who have transgressed against themselves by sinning, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgives all his sins. Indeed, he is the oft forgiving and most merciful. So the most noble and honorable of his servants from among his prophets and messengers are clung and held on to his mercy, besieged him to bestow on them and forgiveness. Prophet Nuh al-Islam would seek forgiveness from the one who is oft forgiving, most merciful for himself, for his family, for the believers. He would say, Rabbi Firli Wali Wali Daya Wali Mandakala Baiti Mu'minaw Walil Mu'minina Wal Mu'minat. My Lord, forgive me. My parents, whoever enters my home as a believer and all the believing men and women. Prophet Ibrahim al-Islam would call upon his Lord saying, Rabbana kfirli wal walidaya wal ilmu'inina yawma yaqumul hisab. Look at the prophets. They are not only asking forgiveness for themselves, for their parents and for the believers. So believers have so much rank. They have given so much importance. Our Lord forgive me, my parents and the believers on the day the reckoning will be established. Prophet Musa al-Islam, the one spoken to Allah, Rabbi Kfirli wa li'aqi wa adkhilna fi rahmatika wa anta arhamur rahimi. So Musa al-Islam is also asking, My Lord, forgive me and my brother, admit us into your mercy, for you are the most merciful of those who show mercy. So, all the prophet, one common thing, they are asking forgiveness for themselves, for their family or parents and then for the believers. And they are asking here, fi rahmatika, enter us into the rahmah. Because without the rahmah, without the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can't enter Jannah. And anta arhamur rahim, Allah is the most merciful we see one mercy in this world and we have seen our mothers how merciful they are how much rahma they have and the rahma is also used for the mother's womb and how mother's womb is protective 
when a child is not born when child is not in this world for 9 months how mother protects and nourishes with the permission of allah subhanahu wa taala so allah's mercy is vast 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 much more our master and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would seek allah's forgiveness istighfar in abundance in all states and all circumstances at all times in response to the spe- statement of his uh, uh, rabb wa qur rabb fir warham wa anta qayru rahimin so he would ask my lord forgive me and have mercy you are the best of those who show mercy abdullah son of umar uh, said we used to count in a gathering for messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he would say 100 times rabbik firli wa tub alayya innaka antat tawwabur rahim you can also ask this uh, forgiveness you know rabbik firli wa tub alayya innaka antat tawwabur rahim oh allah forgive me accept my repentance for you are the acceptor of the repentance the most merciful this is narrated in bukhari so prophets they ask forgiveness and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would say abundance in uh, sajda in the prostration what he would ask in the sajda subhanaka allahumma rabbana wa bihamdika allahumma ighfirli i will repeat again subhanaka allahumma rabbana wa bihamdika allahumma ighfirli so here i declare you transcends above all that unbefitting to you o oh allah o oh our lord while praising you with all that is befitting to you oh allah forgive me ask allah forgiveness oh allah forgive us what we have done in this past what we will do in the future what we do in the private what we do in the public and enable us all to show obedience to you obedience to your messenger muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and obedience to those whom you have ordered us to show obedience to accordance to the statement because you know allah subhanahu wa taala ordered us to have after iman obedience towards allah and rasul then the walidain and relatives so on so forth so allah says ya ayyuhal ladina amanu atiullah wa atiur rasul wa ulil amri minkum o you who believe obey allah and obey messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and those in authority among you keep on asking astaghfirullah astaghfirullah i seek allah's forgiveness i seek allah's forgiveness allah is there to forgive you allah's forgiveness for indeed he is of forgiving the most merciful allah is and when allah says astaghfirullah allazi la ilaha illa hu al hayy al qayyum wa atub ilayhi ghufra lah O oh, you who believe, seek Allah's forgiveness. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said this: Whoever says Astaghfirullah Lazi, La ilaha illa Hu al Hayy al Qayyum wa Tubilay, Ghufira Lah. I seek the forgiveness from Allah, whom there is none worthy of worship except Him, and ever living the self-sustaining and sustainer, and I repent to Him. So. he will be forgiven this is narrated by abu daud and tirmidhi constantly engage yourself in istighfar seeking allah's forgiveness turn and return to abundance to the one who forgives you again and again forgiving allah will forgive turn to him with the acceptance with your regret remorse and have that thing in your heart what you did was wrong it's between you and allah and allah will definitely forgive you because allah has promised those who ask forgiveness allah will forgive you but you should have that regret and remorse and you shouldn't repeat that allah says tuba liman wajada fi sahifatihi istighfaran kaseera blessed is who find abundance istighfar seeking allah's forgiveness in his this is in ibn maja who servants of allah supplicate and uh, ask more and more forgiveness when you ask us that for for yourself then for the parents relatives and then for the believers that's what we learn from the sunna of the prophets so allah send peace and blessing upon 
us and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So we are asking forgiveness for the uh, for ourselves, for the prophets, for the believers. That's what we learn from our beloved Prophet. So we should ask more and more forgiveness because Allah is there to forgive you. And you can say Sayyidul Istighfar also. Allahumma anta rabbi la ilaha lam taqalaqtani wa nabduka wa waaduka mustaat auz bika min shari ma sanat wa buli jambi faqfili la yaqfiru zunuba illa We are asking forgiveness for our sins. We do mistakes, we do sins, we do deliberately, we do the mistakes by uh, like you know forgetfulness but sometimes we do mistake by the hastiness so what we learn like you know keep on asking forgiveness Allah is always there to forgive us and Allah's mercy is vast and is there anyone who will ask forgiveness Allah says I will I am there to forgive you so keep on asking Allah subhanahu wa forgiveness Allah will forgive you his mercy is vast and Allah is there always so Allah's mercy, with the mercy of Allah, uh, we can be protected. If you are not asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness, so Allah will not forgive you. And after forgiveness, uh, remember that after forgiveness, you should have that regret and remorse. You shouldn't repeat that thing. Don't make it a habit like, you know, definitely Allah is there to forgive us, but not making the habit. Like, you know, keep on doing the same mistake again and again, again and again. So, do the istighfar because Prophet Muhammad Wasallam did uh, more than 70 times. And istighfar removes so many problems. Like, you know, when you do istighfar, the abundance rain and Allah will give you uh, mal, wealth. Allah will give you children. 